What's up guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm super excited because I have something awesome to mix and match your day. I can't wait to show you guys what I have here. Transend, a company from Taiwan, reached out to me on my Instagram. Transend is a company that specializes in formal wear, but it's kind of like formal wear on roids. They take it to a whole new level. When I got told about all the good stuff they have packed in here, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. So guys, let's check it out. Whoa, whoa, it's so soft. This is the separate hoodie cap, premium quality. Check it out. Oh yes, loving it. I can't believe how light it is and it's so soft. Look at that, look how soft it is. This is just insane. Let's go and try it on now. This Ultra Coat is a pre-production model. From what I'm told, it's pretty close to its final form. Oh, it's so hot. It's a bright sunny day today. It's probably not the best to wear a coat right now, but hey, whatever. When I first put on the Ultra Coat, it felt very comfortable. It was as if I was covered by a warm blanket. In terms of weight, it's so light. It almost feels like feather light, and it's soft on your skin. Some of the coats that I have are heavy, which is kind of annoying to travel with. Wearing this ultra coat, it reminded me of those Uniqlo ultra light down coats and puffy jackets. How are you finding this ultra coat? Um, it's actually really, really good. It's really light. It's puffy, but not heavy. And I like how the details are very well made and yeah, hopefully it'll hit the market soon. Ultra Coat made a great first impression and I'm loving it. There's a truckload of things to talk about, so get ready. You probably have already heard me talking about it a lot of times that this coat is super light. It's so... I did the weight test a couple of times and the range I got was somewhere from 880 to 930 grams. Generally speaking, a down jacket ranges from 900 grams to 1300 grams. The Ultra Hood. I personally like the design of having a hoodie that can be detached. I wonder how user friendly it is to attach the hoodie. So inside the hoodie, there's these two clips over here. Let's go and put it. Oh, that was easy. It just clipped on. It's magnets as well. Oh, it's on. Cool. That was pretty easy. It's overarching my forehead a bit. So there's a Velcro strap at the back that you can pull that front hood back a bit more. I wonder how. It seems pretty stable. There's three magnet pieces over here. Hmm. This is really warm. The neck sleeve. And I heard that there's only one direction you can take this hoodie off, which is just pull upward. There we go. That's how easy it is. Oh, it's hot. I quite like how if you wanted to have that more formal look, you can just easily detach that hoodie off. But I see myself having that hoodie on most of the time, especially in New Zealand. We experience four different seasons in one day, all sorts of weather. So talking about weather, this ultra coat is weatherproof. Yeah. And I mean weatherproof. I'm talking about water, wind and snow. And on top of that, it heats instantly. We'll talk a bit about that later. It has multi-layer insulation technology, UV protected, wrinkle free, has breathability, stretchable material, odor control, and it's easy to maintain. So there's a lot of things packed in here. Hence why I guess it's called the Ultra Cold. The look of the coat is designed in a way where it's slim and styly. You can wear this for a conference meeting or just wear it for a casual gathering. It's versatile. I guess when they designed this coat, they had the mindset of making it suitable for multiple occasions. Now, there's this real cool function, internal heating. All you need to power it on is have a Type-C USB power bank. This is so cool. I love it how when you long press this button over here. Whoa, this actually lights up. It just lights up. 
Look how nice that red color light is. It looks so good to have that red light lit up on your coat. It's something I really like. Now, I think there was a lot of thought process put in when designing this heating function to make it really stand out in front of its other competitors. Instead of just having one button to turn things on and off, what they did was they split the heating section into two buttons. The top button is for the neck area and then the lower button is for the side areas and the lower back. There are four different heating settings. When you first turn it on, it starts blinking red. When it blinks red, it means you have activated the fastest heating mode. The other temperature settings are all color coded into blue, white and red. Blue is sitting somewhere near 42 Celsius, white is about 50 Celsius and red is near 55 Celsius. Whoa. This is actually really, really cool. You can actually customize the temperature. I know, right? And it looks real nice, the blue and red color. Are you starting to feel hot inside? Um, yeah, it's actually warming up. See, it's still flashing, so it means it's heating up. It's actually a really, really cool feature. I never thought a jacket could do that. Now, if it gets too hot and stuffy inside the coat, there are actually hidden areas on the side of the coat where you can unzip and allow more air to come in thus creating more breathability and ventilation. But if it gets too hot, you can just take the coat off and let it hang off your back. This is such an exciting video to make. There are so many things to show off. Get ready to listen to what I'm about to say. They have used advanced material, and I'm talking about advanced material. I personally think every clothing company should adopt to this material. They have used recycled coffee grounds mixed with plastic bottles. How cool is that? environmental friendly for sure, turning trash into cash at a whole new level. Coffee has a unique deodorizing function, so by using coffee's natural ability to block odors, I was told that whether you're having hot pot at a barbecue, or going for a walk in a crowded place, or maybe just going for a run, all those smells associated at those places, or doing those things, won't catch on the ultra coat. The ultra coat will still maintain its refreshing state. Hmm. Do you guys think that's real? I think we've got to do a test. So this is a spicy soup base. All right, I've got the Ultra Coat right now. Uh, I'm not gonna put the Ultra Coat in the pot. Rather, I'm just gonna put it above the pot where the steam is coming out. Man, I'm pretty sure this is gonna smell like hot pot. There's no way it wouldn't. Do people actually do these type of reviews? Or is it just me? I'm just gonna quickly go outside. My mate's waiting for me in the car. I'm gonna get him to smell whether this coat smells like hot pot. Hey bro, can you smell hot pot smell on that coat? I, there's some, but like. How bad is it? Well, it's not that bad. Maybe like up here, I think if, it's not that obvious though. You have to be really close to smell it. I don't know what you did to it, but like, it's not it's not that bad. I mean, I did a crazy review. I kind of boiled a pot of hot pot and I just had the coat hanging over it. So it's, <laughs> it's supposed to be saturated with that hot pot smell. Definitely Sweet. fine. <laughs> we gotta do a waterproof test. How about some waterproof juice next time? Yo, try this kiwi fruit soda. Alright, here we go. What a channel. The Ultra Coat has a waterproof rating of 15,000 millimeters. So what that means is, if you stack a one inch diameter column on top of the coat and pour water down it, the water will not penetrate the membrane up to 15,000 millimeters. Okay, let's try some Powerade. Oh, again, oh, look at that. Damn. It repels off. Yeah, it doesn't even stick at all. Damn. Look at that. I love it how it just bounces off. Woo! It's like you're having a shower with your clothes on. I put a piece of paper in my pocket just to test the waterproofability. And look at this. Still dry. Still dry. Woohoo! <laughs> Huh, look what I made. Your bath. Because of the design, 
it made it very secure so the water didn't actually come through this earth. so well done so i was told the coat still maintained its effect of resisting water pressure above 15,000 millimeters even after 20 actual washing experiments furthermore they said that this could last for five years no problem and for the anti-splash part it was 85 percent effective after 20 times of washing experiments hidden in his sleeves even though i was excited about discovering this in his sleeve i did find it relatively thin and i'm not sure how durable it would be for long-term use but you can see over here they have made an extra stitching at the thumb slot to strengthen the fabric but guess what the ultra coat it also comes with a water repellent pouch pocket hidden at the bottom left of the coat which then, if you connect it with the removable strap, it turns into a small sling bag. The bag has two pockets, a zip pocket and a velcro lock pocket. You can use it to put your hoodie away or other small items such as wallets. Now it's time to turn the clothes inside out. You can clearly see the stitching is on point. Clean cuts and I didn't even find any loose ends. One piece that did look odd was this piece of fabric. I later found out this piece functions similar to a snow skirt, where it keeps you warm by preventing cold air or snow from entering inside. For the front zippers, they have used YKK, one of the best zippers out there, but there was one thing I didn't get used to, which was where the zips were sitting. I'm used to having the zips sitting on the left side, but for the ultra coat it's sitting on the right side so it took a bit of time for me to adjust to that I like it how when you zip up there are double fabric pieces for you to cover the zips to prevent any water or wind from seeping in there are eight pockets in total one we have already talked about which is the water repellent pouch the front three pockets all have waterproof zippers I really like how they have an extra covering here at the top of the zip to prevent water dropping in. You have three inner pockets, two at the right side and one at the left. The pockets that I have mentioned all have a reasonable amount of space and fits my phone fine. There's also a hidden pocket on the left sleeve. I find this to be a very useful design. I can store my easy card, also known as yo-yo card. But with cars, you gotta take it out of your wallet, scan it, put it back in, and all that time adds up. So just by having the car stored at the left sleeve and scan it, bam, boom, it saves so much time. And to the last function, the earbuds can be easily attached on a magnetic holder on the left collar. One thing that I was a bit worried was regarding the heating panels. I didn't understand whether they could withstand washing machine type of environments. So for the heating pads, they have used a IP68 rating, which is waterproof and dustproof. This heating element is also called a graphite carbon fiber heating technology, which has passed the EUC and the US FCC safety certification. Basically, two different countries have their own safety certifications and UltraCult has satisfied them both. So it's unlikely that any leakage would happen unless you have damaged the element by like poking a hole through it. The graphite carbon fiber has a service life of 6,000 to 8,000 hours. I was told that it will last somewhere around 5 to 10 years or more under normal use. Transend chose this heating module because it's currently one of the most stable heating modules on the market. Use a washing bag before you put it in the washing machine. Don't have the temperature set to high. Somewhere under 38 degrees is good. Don't dry clean. For the USB cable, you gotta remember to put the cap back on. Put it back in the pocket, zip it up before you wash. Ultra Coat comes in three different colors. I have the classic black color one. There's also navy blue and army green. And if you wanted to buy one for your girl, there's also a female version of the coat as well. Hey, when Transin reached out to me, they offered to send another ultra coat to one of my fans. How cool is that? I didn't request it or hinted it in any way. They just came first and offered it. I find that to be very thoughtful. So yes, we'll have a giveaway for a brand new ultra coat. What you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at Daymixer. Follow Transend at Transend Group. Also find this photo, tag two friends, comment below and tell me what is your favorite feature of this ultra coat. And like how we always say it, Daymixer out. Thank you.